Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jack. In a recent video I showed you how I put together some sensors in order to electronically monitor my heating system. I showed you a three channel board that had uh, a bunch of uh, a few parts on it uh, with LEDs to indicate certain areas of the system that was working and since then I have produced a six channel board. So I'm ready today to show you the interface to the computer system and show you how it operates and I think you'll, uh, you'll find it very interesting. Okay, uh, because I only had a three channel interface board uh, when I implemented this, I have uh, these three channels hooked up. Thermostat for the master bedroom, circulator relay, the circulator, and a pipe temperature. So these three indicate that none of these are active right now. Also I have all the rooms at the top. I have temperature, sensor, uh, temperature sensors in some of the rooms so far. Uh, when I get the 8 channel board uh, populated I will uh, expand this, this matrix here. But this is what I have right now. So let's try it out. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the uh, thermostat or increase the temperature of the thermostat in the master bedroom with my smartphone. So I've increased it and you can see from the orange glow that it, it tripped and up here the thermostat for the master bedroom came on. The next thing that should happen is the circulator relay should come on and then the circulators. Um, the circulator relay will provide power to the circulator and both of those should come on after that. And this may take a few minutes but uh, it, the pipe temperatures here are for zone 1 and zone 2. Uh, they update once a minute so we may not see it immediately happening but uh, um, the pipe temperatures will go up. So by looking at this this display you can check the thermostat, the circulator relay, and the circulator as well as the pipe temperature to make sure that the circulator is actually in fact pumping water around. Okay the circulator relay just came on and the circulator came on. Um, now we should see uh, the pipe temperature start to rise. Okay the pipe temperature just went up uh, so we, saw, we see it's working. And now we're going to turn it down I turned the thermostat down to 67 in the master bedroom and now you can see the thermostat in the master bedroom is off and the circulator relay and the circulator should turn off shortly and then the pipe temperature will drop. While we're waiting for that uh, you can see over here I put uh, some temperature sensors in the radiant heat tempering tank. This is a tank holding warm water for the radiant heat floor, uh, floor heating. Uh, the circulator reason the circulator just came off. And the temperature in there is 98 degrees because it's fairly warm here right now outside. It's about 30, 31 degrees. This is a domestic hot water tank. Hot water is at 120 degrees roughly. And there's a cold water and hot water alarm I, I put on the system and that's because um, there were times when the boiler went down and I didn't know it till a day later because the temperature in the hot water tank drops slowly. So when the temperature drops below, I think it's 105 degrees, um, and this alarm is set, then it will flash lights, lights in one room of the house. So if somebody's home, they can see that. Um, so you can see here the pipe temperature is going down now. And this is zone 2, which is uh, a lot cooler, hasn't been on. So my goal now is to put uh, thermostat um, uh, sensors on the other thermostat, the zone valves, and uh, I only have one circulator relay and one circulator for the, the baseboard heating, so I'll add that to it too. So that's it. I'd be interested if you have any comments. Um, 
this uh, system that I have here is a home vision system. This is the uh, control, um, the control panel for the system. Over here also I have a green greenhouse skylights, uh, fans for the greenhouse. So it does a multitude of things. This is the HVAC um, screen for my home. So any comments are uh, welcome. If you have any uh, suggestions, let me know. Um, there's a addendum to the last video I had and that is basically if you're not using a home automation system uh, then this can be implemented much easier. All, if all you're going to do is look at the LEDs on the interface board I uh, can do that a lot easier with with uh, just some LEDs and you don't need the filtering that you would require for inputting into a home automation system. Okay. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.